you are looking at a gathering of uh, manufacturers and musicians and artists and, and enthusiasts of uh, electronics and electronic music and music in general. So, so let's say that it's a gathering that tries to put people from different perspectives into the same building and, and then see what happens. We are, as we are organizers of the event, but we are also manufacturers of modular synthesizers. So, I create electronic music instruments. Okay. And uh, it all started as a, as a project for me to understand electronics even better. I wanted to have more knowledge around it, and yeah. I have a music background. So, uh, so you're combining your interest in music with electronics. Yeah. And as a result of that, you started developing your own yeah. synthesizer. Yeah. Um, can you show it? What do you have? So, I create a, a small case. And uh, there are three different modules, as we call it. Three different things that I created in this case. And uh, one thing is more going in an experimental way. I don't know if the cable is still in there. Yeah, it is. So this is, uh, for some people, maybe a little bit cruel. Uh, this is a capacitor, just like any uh, ordinary battery. And uh, I load them via an external signal, incoming signal, or uh, with a touch point, with a click on a button. And uh, it loads and drains the, the, the battery in that way. And uh, yeah, I have also a little bit more of an experimental push on. So this is more than uh, you have NAND gates, eight NAND gates, and they're all cross wired together. And they create uh, pulses in between them. And uh, you can patch this any way you like to create some coherent pulses together. Poop, like this. The, the main thing part for me is I have one side that goes more about uh, creating a, a chaos and other parts going more to creating control over something. What is synthesizer music for you? Oh, that's so uh, such a, a wide answer to, to give. Okay. But uh, for me, it's a, a really really personal thing. Yeah. Because I also explore the, the ideas that I want to create. Okay. And in my case, it's uh, I want to have control over chaos. In the end, it's, um, you could take like the classical uh, synthesizers uh, paradigm, yeah. like for example, like Moog uh, was uh, showing all of us with their or Moog synthesizers with the oscillators, their mixers that they will pass through the uh, filter and then the envelope and a keyboard. So yeah. you will do, you could actually play Bach on, on these synthesizers. And there were other uh, pioneers back then that had this different ideas, crazy ways of facing sound production that, that are doing these modules, these funky modules with functionalities that will do crazy stuff. And people are really loving this. Rebel technology. Rebel technology. So we've been making modular synthesizers for a, uh, for a long time, maybe uh, eight to ten years. And uh, uh, one of our products is a reprogrammable uh, module that you can load uh, patches that you make in Pure Data. Pure Data is a graphical uh, audio programming language. Yeah. Uh, you can also make C++ and C patches. And we've got a library online and user contributions. There's more than 200 patches available, or yeah. synthesizers and effects. And, uh, and we also have a guitar pedal that does the same thing. And now we've launched a little handheld device that also runs the same core platform. OK, can you show it? You have yeah, it here? which looks like this. This is the micro version. Yeah. And then um, we also have a miniature version here. Yeah. And they're powered by um, ARM processors. So the, okay. it's the ARM Cortex-M4. And then we've added, of course, a high quality uh, codec, audio codec, stereo. And um, extra memory, so there's an extra eight megabytes of okay. SRAM. And um, yeah, the, the bigger one here, it's got uh, CV inputs and outputs so that you can uh, integrate it with the modular synthesizer like this okay. one. And you can also patch between them. And uh, 
connect the audio inputs from one end to the other, obviously. We got some user assignable buttons as well as uh, the user assignable knobs. And this one has a USB host interface as well as the USB device interface. Im implementing USB MIDI. Okay, but, but basically with a module like that, you have your synthesizer. Yeah, exactly. You have a synthesizer, you have an effects unit, you can put the, a patch that does both effects and synthesis in one. Or you can make them separate and connect them together in the two different units. So it's very versatile. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, some, uh, some manufacturers, as us, Befaco and, and many others, we are coming from, from DIY uh, backgrounds. Uh, uh, learn uh, searching in internet and go to a forum and ask your questions and all the things you like, you, you just ask the, the, the internet. And, okay. and then there's these forums that when, where people are giving answers. So okay. you start doing your things with the answers and then you go back and say, hey, I tried this and it worked, guys. And in fact, I tried this and that and it's working better. And then someone from Portland, Oregon, try your modification and actually implement it on their new design and suddenly there is a thing. We have an app called uh, Holonist, and um, uh, it uses motion sensors. These are uh, made by the Finnish manufacturer Suuntok, and they measure nine axes of motion, gyroscope, accelerometer, and magnetometer, also heart rate and temperature. Yeah, we, we think that uh, music is not only about listening, it's something you experience with your whole body. Okay, and so this, this uh, device will actually allow you to do that, so you the idea is to move around and your movements will be translated into music. That's right, yep. If you, if you look at this, you will see how, um, yeah. how the how my movement, arm movement yeah. um, triggers and modulates different things. Yeah. Okay. That's basically it. That's it. Thank you oh, great. I hope it will be successful. Thank you very much. So, coming from that background, a few uh, collectives or, or brands or companies, uh, we are focusing on on DIY. So we are not just selling instruments; it's offering um, the chance to build your own instruments and to to modify it and to actually be able to fix it. Uh, this is Pachin Panda from Barcelona. And we have our different models right here. Uh, this is Vibrasu, which is a triple resonator. You can insert one audio here and it divides in three uh, bands. So it's three band pass filter, uh, filter. So you can take each band up to different sides. So for example, you can take the low or the mid or the highs or whatever. He swaps between all the frequency range, you have control CV in each uh, swap uh, frequency and also CV on the feedback resonance. Okay, very flexible system. Yes. Well, I hope it will work. Yeah, and you have a good time. Thank you, you Thank too. You. And we're here with Hagen from Germany. Yeah. What exactly do you have as a sort of music box, but then completely different? Yeah. That's right. It is a kind of uh, more manual instrument, not not like electronic music. It's for something to touch, and you can play it with with your hands by touching and by using these little event makers or sound makers. And also the relation with your with your instrument it's different because you spend the time and you put the effort to, to, to actually build your own instrument and maybe it's not perfect maybe it's not working like a computer but it's your instrument it's your synth 